All right, here we are again, the closet studio, back with the Zim's music journal episode number four. Um, so tonight almost had Zim and Arock practice, but it got canceled. So, um, which is a slight bummer, but there's plenty of other stuff to do. So tonight, what I decided to work on is, uh, as you know, uh, last episode, which was last night. I had Annie Yonser over here recording some vocals on playing my guitar, so I plan to mix that. Um, hopefully it won't take too long. I'll, I'll get um, some preliminary mixes so I can start listening to those. Um, and then I also want to um, start sequencing our set, the Zim and A-Rock set, um, getting whatever I need to ready for when we do have practice. Um, we can just get right into practicing. We don't have to mess around with manipulating Ableton to play along to. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about what um, the Zim and A-Rock do uh, for our live set. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but we um, use Ableton and we run sequences off of Ableton. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned a little bit about it, but we run sequences off of Ableton and we use, um, this year we, or like the middle of last year, we started using Ableton. We run sequences and we play them to a click and so what it means is we have these in-ear monitors. Um, we bought some in-ear monitors. They look like this. I don't know if you can see them. Um, they're wired, so we, we wire them into a mixing board. And when we have these in, it cuts off all the sound um, other than what's going in through these. So what we have to do is we actually have to mic up everything that we play. So we have our, and we run our own monitor mix on stage. So we run our monitors on stage so that sound guy doesn't even have to worry about it then we give the sound guy feeds off of that and um, then he runs that to the house so it's it's actually really cool it's um it's pretty amazing it's it takes a little bit getting used to listening to um yourself through in-ear monitors because it's like you hear everything so precisely uh, what i discovered when we were playing is that you hear everything so pr you hear everything and sometimes I don't know, I discovered that I would uh, hide behind my own, like, if I, some, if there was some, like, part of the music that I wasn't super confident about, or, or I didn't even recognize I wasn't super confident about, I would just kind of slough through it and not recognize it, but when you have every sound that you're doing just going directly into your ears, you are hyper-conscious about where your voice is in terms of, you know, in tune, and where, what your guitar sounds like, what what every sound that's going on sounds like. So you're like, you know exactly what's going on. You know if you're under the pitch or, over, you know, if your vo your vocals aren't on, right? So it really, it, cre it, it for what it did for me was it created more presence. It created me being more on the mic. One of the comments I used to get a lot um, from my friends and whatever was, I wouldn't get on the mic enough when I was performing. I need, you know, they didn't hear the vocals enough. And then, after using these and doing this process, um, it's been the opposite. Like everybody's coming, wow, man, your vocals are way more present, you know, things are going. So it's just, it's been a really great benefit for me, but it definitely takes a little getting used to because it's, there's also, it. you kind of lose a little bit, at least so far the way we've got it dialed in, you lose a little bit of the dynamics um, because it is just right in your ears. It's like everything that's going on, you kind of lose a little bit of, the dynamics and we have a uh, tracks that run along with us like click tracks that are going the whole time so you have to have this uh degree of muscle memory knowing like the click track's going to stay at the same tempo the whole song but that doesn't mean i'm mean, not tempo of course it's going to stay at the same tempo the click track's going to be at the same volume the whole song so you can hear it the whole time so you know where you need to be but maybe that part of the song needs to be soft so you can't let that click track fuel fool you into playing loud you have to go okay we practice this the click track's going to be pounding in my brain right here but oh we need to take it down we need to be under it and just let the click track pound away but we need to remember where we need to go with the song so i don't know just that's a little bit about what um what we've been learning about playing with in-ear monitors the way we do it running ableton um if you have any questions about it feel free to ask in the comments um of this video and then also i'm hoping that you've had a chance to check out uh, the video that the Zim Rock we just posted online, I'm going to put a link to it um, in the description. <coughs> so 
So, um, we just put out our first video, really excited about it. Um, put in tons of hours um, editing it and uh, like I was telling you, so yeah, I told you already a little bit about it. Um, I got the video done. So that last episode, I think that was episode three maybe, um, was a video, I was telling you about the video and I didn't get it done that night because just the rendering, like the process of doing video work on the laptop just took a really long time. So it took me actually about four days to finish all the rendering, just having it go, making it happen. So I got it done um, uh, and it's up and it's there and it's now it's out for people to view. It's been up for like th two and a half, three days, something like that. Um, and I'm really stoked on it. So I hope you have a chance to check it out and uh, you know, give some feedback if you want. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I'll just, you know, I'll leave it at that. Got some work to do. Get, play my guitar, mix, get, um, some sequences that we're working on mixed, right? So when we are ready to practice, they're ready to go. So, uh, so yeah, hope you're doing good and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.